Hey guys, welcome back to Indie Now. In November, the crazy show and experience Champions of Magic is coming to the Marat Theater at the Old National Center. And today we're getting a sneak peek from Alex, who is a mind reader. Alex, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm a little nervous. I told him before the break, um, I did definitely creep you on Instagram to see what I was working with today. And you do some crazy stuff. How did you get into mind reading magic, all of this? Walk me through it. How did I get into it? So like, I, I grew up as an only child. I am an only child. So okay. I kind of had to like entertain myself, amuse myself have lots of hobbies yes. and one of those was magic you know I had the magic kit that had like the little wand that shrank or the little egg cup that the ball disappears from okay. but that didn't really get me, get me into magic it wasn't until I was like 14 15 years old where I got a book about memory tricks and techniques you know oh, like to help improve your memory yeah yeah and I quite like doing those and showing off to my friends like I learned the alphabet backwards and stuff like that I, still I was already cool guys <laughs> And, um, but at the back of the book, it recommended other books, and some of those were magic books about mind magic, mental magic. Okay. And I just kept buying books, kept reading, kept practicing, kept doing stuff. And then all this time later, I'm now in this huge touring show. Yeah, talk about Champions of Magic. What can people expect if they're going to come to a, the show like this? So uh, what's good about the show is there's five of us. There's five illusionists in the show, and you get to see every type of magic. So we've got mind reading from me. We've got close-up magic. We've got those big, grand-scale illusions. We've got death-defying escapes. Oh, my God. Fire, gosh. pyrotechnics, huge lighting. Yeah, it's amazing. That sounds crazy. What is your favorite part of doing this, traveling all over, and getting to really practice your craft? It's, uh, I say, it's meeting like different audiences. Like, yeah. I think by now we've been to like 40 of the states in America. Yes, like, you, only got, you only got a few more. That's true. Like, I, I'm not sure Alaska is going to be on the list, but <laughs> hopefully we'll get there. Hawaii, I'm hoping Finger, for. Hey, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but I'll go with you guys. If you need a sixth person, let me know. Absolutely. We'll just you track can out to Hawaii. You put you in the box, in half. Yeah, that, well, I, mean, I mean, maybe not the sawing in half part, but I like all the rest. Okay. All the rest feels <laughs> really good. Okay, Strong moves. Like, Thanks, guys. I'll get out now. Thanks. I'm going to just go this way. Well, claustrophobic. <laughs> uh, so, uh, but yeah, just meeting different people, different audiences. Uh, it's just kind of fun to kind of share our, this is very cheesy, but like share our kind of gift and stuff with the audience. Like I really like making the audience laugh. I don't take myself too seriously. Yeah. I'm not one of those mind readers that's just all solemn and looks, you know, Like the, the very serious, yeah. like. But uh, yeah, it's just, you know, it's just such fun to kind of, this thing that all of us started is just a hobby, something we like doing and we get to make it our, our profession. It's yeah, you get to make it your whole world. Yeah, yeah, dream come true. Okay, so I was saying earlier, we're gonna do some mind reading. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just, I don't, I have no idea what's gonna <laughs> happen, which is why I'm nervous. So let's just, I'm yeah. gonna let you lead this one. Great. So like genuine, like we haven't set anything up. No. When you watch stuff like this on TV, you think maybe something's happened beforehand. Yeah. But you can probably tell from it. Yeah, I know. Like I'm, I'm usually the producer in the control room who knows what's gonna happen. Yeah. And I don't <laughs> like this right now. thrown to the lines. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, literally. So we're gonna do something simple. Just okay. Just because it's early for my mind reading powers. Right so um, I want you to think of a short, English word. Okay. A short English word. So we sh say short is like seven letters or less. Okay. And uh, English is the language I'm speaking. But don't go for cat or dog because those are kind of easy, you okay. know, a bit too easy to guess. Okay. Do you have a word in mind? Yeah. I can tell from your smoke that it might be a tricky word. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm going to get you to write this down just so we've got proof later on. Yeah. I'm going to look the other way. Don't show any of the cameras because there's monitors everywhere. I don't oh, want people look. thinking that's how I can see. So okay. write it down and then refold it just like that. So write it just okay. there. I'll look the other way. I'll close my eyes and face the other way. And just let me know when you're done. Just make sure it's not too long either. Long words can become like a tedious game. Of we hanging. are, we got it. We've Good. done it. And it's all folded. So if I turn around, I can't see. Yep, folded. Good, fantastic. Now for everyone watching, like this is, like it's a thick piece of card. Yeah, no, it's. It's not like you can see through it or anything like that. It's not flimsy. But so it's nice and safe. It's going to go inside this envelope. Please make sure there's nothing else in there. Nothing in there. No holes or anything. It goes mm -mm. in. I won't seal it, but I'll leave it there. Okay. Mm so whatever this word is, I mm -hmm. want you just to say it in your head over and over again. <laughs> okay. Okay. But not out loud. Okay. Because that makes it a bit easy. <laughs> yeah, that would kind of give away <laughs> this whole thing we're doing. Good. So just keep saying it in your head over and over again for me slowly. It's too fast. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's too fast. Okay. Okay, great. Could you think of a letter just somewhere in the middle of the word? You don't have to say it out loud. You just think it in your head. Just one letter. You changed your mind. You almost went for one, then you went back again. Because that's an R in there, yes? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so weird. It's weird, isn't it? The other one was like a vowel. It's like an E or an I. It's an I, thank you. So it's an I, and it goes I, R. Okay, so it sounds weird. Could you say your own first name out loud for me? Kerrigan. Good. Say it again. Kerrigan. Good. Kerrigan. Now, thank you. Now say your own first name, but just in your head. Good, well done. <laughs> Thank you, man. Check. Check. And now say the word, but just in your head. Uh, bird. B I R D, bird. Is that right? Yes! yes. <laughs> and I need you to know that. That's just really scary. What? It's right there. Bird. bird. Where am I looking? This way. <laughs> I am very sweaty. 
because of what's just taken place. You're welcome. All right. If people want more information, <laughs> of, I, yeah, uh, it's Champions of Magic. Where can they go? Uh, you can go to championsofmagic.co.uk. You can find us on all the social networks. Just search for Champions of Magic. You'll find us there. Look up four dates. Come see a show. You can go creep him on Instagram like I did by going to Champions of Magic. It's fine. We're going to be very transparent about it. Alex, thank you so much for what for all of that that just took place. You're welcome. It's very wild. All right.